It's exactly 14 minutes after 7. You're still here on the AM show. Uh, and shortly, I'm speaking with the Honorable Kwabena Minta Akando. He's Member of Parliament for Jarbiso in the Western Region. And he's also the Deputy Minister of Natural Resources Designates. Uh, who said at his vetting, indeed, it was part of his CV, uh, that d he's, he was a dining hall perfect and that was uh, a working experience. We just want to clear that uh, briefly here on our show. So, Honorable, first of all, good morning to you and thank you for your time. Good morning, my sister. Mm. Was it a mistake that you put dining hall perfect as an experience in your CV? You see... Thank you very much. And let me say good morning to our viewers. And you have even put it well. The impression created out there is that I appeared before the appointment committee and they asked me why I was there. And I, I said I wanted to be a deputy minister. And they asked me of my work experience. I said, oh, I have been a dining hall prepared before, so give me <laughs> and let me go uh, to the office. Um, as you have rightly asked, I appeared before the appointment committee and uh, the feedback I get is that it was a very nice interaction with the members of the committee. I presented my CV, and in fact, in fact, to be frank with you, that was even on the lighter note. As part of the CV, I included Dan and Hall Prefect. And then the committee disagreed with me that, look, you cannot put Dan and Hall Prefect under work experience. So but did, did you think about it? Was it something, was well, it a mistake? Or well, was something, I, it was I, a deliberate move? No, it was not deliberate. But I meant including it on my CV. Okay. And I'll tell you why. I meant that. And putting but, it on the work that, experience. That was, that was a mishap. Okay. You understand. And so I agreed. I even didn't, I didn't even, the word Danny Hall prefer didn't even come out of my mouth. So when they drew my attention to that, I just agreed. I said I was going to do the correction, of, I mean, accordingly. And... You see, I, I am not the first person, and I wouldn't be the last person who appeared before the appointment committee, and they would disagree with me on certain things on the CV. And so when they said that, I said I was going to, I mean, do the appropriate correction. But on my CV, mm -hmm. I have been the deputy regional youth organizer of my party in Western Region. On my CV, I have been the substantive regional youth organizer of my party in Western Region. Mm -hmm. On my CV, I have worked with the National Service Secretariat, National Service Scheme, at the head office. And in some cases, deputizing my head of department. On my CV, currently, I'm a member of parliament for Jabosu constituency. But the interesting aspect is that people will highlight their dining hall I guess aspect. it's because a lot of people were surprised I'll, that I'll, I'll come there. seven as a dining hall I'll come there. And I don't in senior high. You see, look, I will, and if you have, have looked at a lot of, of, of CVs and people have included positions, I could have included, like, I could have captioned it like other positions held. I've looked at some CVs, ministers who have indicated their positions they held back at school. And I'll tell you why I will never regret being a Daniel Prefect whilst I was in school. You know what? It was one of the things that motivated me into politics. At that age, when I was in the secondary school. How old were you then? Yes. When I was in secondary school, I had the opportunity to be elected as the Dining Hall Prefect. And you know, you agree with me that it is one of the most sensitive places in every boarding school. That's where demonstrations and strike actions start. Over food. Exactly. Not even necessarily over food. Even if there's any disagreement. That is where we converge often. Because we meet at Dining Hall three times a day, including weekends. So that is the only place we, we, we converge often, three times a day, including weekends. And so any misunderstanding is, 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 is a potential explosion at the dining hall. So standing in front of over 1,000 people at that age in my teens, making announcements, managing people, and all that, it motivated me that, look, I can do more than this. Okay. And so at the, age of, at the age of 23, 24, at around 24, I was a deputy regional youth organizer for my party in Western Region. Okay. But you see, so let us... Let, let, can, can we get something clear before you move on? So you're saying that uh, playing the role of dining hall Corporate, prefect yes. helped you to control... People. Manage people. Okay. Manage people. Control people. And, if, and that is why you do not regret I including regret that as part of your CV. CV. But, but the heading, you see, the committee disagreed with me that 
if you are talking about if you are talking about work experience, it should be something that you earn remuneration for. And I agreed. In fact, I didn't even use my mouth to mention the word dining hall prefect. I guess was, I agreed. It was and on it, the paper. Of course, I agree. Oh, I agree. And you see, uh, there, it was a lengthy interaction. I mean, about what I can do at the ministry and a lot of other things. I mean. It was, that one was even on the lighter note. Okay, so having thought about it, having agreed that uh, it was a mistake, that you put the heading, heading that way, how would you do it now? Oh, other positions held. Okay, so, but you still definitely I still have insist, and I still stand by it, and I have never regretted being a Daniel Hall prefect. Mm. You could imagine that time, very tiny, and, I mean, they wanted somebody who could manage such a sensitive place yeah. and my people. I have contested elections throughout my lifetime. Somebody said the benefit of being a dining hall prefect would be you'd get double <laughs> portion of whatever <laughs> is being said to the rest of the students. <laughs> That's on a lighter note. <laughs> how many can you eat? I mean, even if you get 10 times what everybody is supposed to get, yeah. how many can you eat? So that's on a lighter note. Okay. But in fact, uh, sincerely speaking, I, I don't regret being a dining hall prefect at all. Are you, people are you? have become vice prefect compound overseas, and they include it on, in, on, on their CV. I, I was a uh, senior prefect. I, didn't, I, ha I don't have it on my, maybe you, the you, inspiration that you give me, you I have it on to. my CV. In, in fact, <laughs> wherever, wherever I am now, that's how I, how I started. Sure. Throughout my primary school, I was a class captain. Okay. Tr in the junior secondary schools. But I we, don't have that. we don't, I don't have, have that on the CV. But I started, you see, I was looking at the CV this way. At every stage in time, what did you do? From the basic level to the second second institution, what can you put there? In fact, I can tell you that I didn't include more than half of what I've gone through on my CV. Really? I'm telling you. For example, I have been the deputy speaker at uh, UCC House of Parliament. Deputy speaker. I have been a substantive speaker at UCC House of Parliament. And you can ask people who, who all attended the same school. But okay. I didn't include that. All right. I was deeply involved in student politics back on school. Okay. And but so we wish you I, the best. I have contested I elections. I have lost them. I contest. I have ever contested USAC president before. USAC. I, I didn't include. You see, so I thought that, look, that one, that was the beginning of my political career. Okay. Beginning. So if today, by God's grace, I've gotten to where I am now, why should I feel sorry to, to mention that I was once a Daniel Hall prefect, my sister? All right. I will I, never. I get to. We wish you the very best. You see. Uh, but... <laughs> And, and I, 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 I get impressions. People are even saying that look, there was uh, uh, the num my there was issue about the number of children and all that. See, that was that that one too. It was on a lighter note. I have five children. Okay, with the same woman. Well, I have five children. Okay, you understand, and I'm proud of them. And so they also asked, when I was in the university, my firstborn came at the age of uh, one uh, that was fifteen. February 2004. Okay. 15 February 2004. And I was around 23, 24 years by then. Okay. That and was early? Second, yes. I was, I was in the university then. My second born came around 9th January 2006. From, from 20, 28 February 2010 till today, I have also gotten three. Okay. Because we saw three children uh, back there. Oh, they were, they were, they were, they were, in fact. So you had room, all five there? They were all there. Oh, okay. They were all there, but all right. some of them were disturbing, so they were managing them, you know, okay, their sure. kids, and so yeah. they were all there. Actually, they okay. were all there. Well, we wish you the very best. I think, you know, the position is what is most important. Fantastic. Yeah. Do, Fantastic. do you, has the presidency given you the, no, has parliament, uh, the <coughs> appointments Sorry. committee given you the nod? Not yet. We, they will have to, that's how parliament works. They will have to discuss the appointment committee reports okay and then after that the whole committee the whole house will meet on it and then uh, approve or otherwise okay so when are we expecting that well I can't tell mm. I can I can I but can, you're I hopeful say. right why not, <laughs> why not? <laughs> all right we wish and you the, the very best the, we are we are all going to work together what uh, I think is very important is that one person cannot develop this country so we all have to put our heads together yeah to be able to achieve something for Mother, Mother, Mother Ghana. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so that's the Deputy Minister of Natural Resources designates Kwabena Minta Akando. He's also the Member of Parliament for Jabiso, which is in the Western Region. I want to say thank you for your time, really.
I'm also grateful. Mm, okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, so yesterday, mm -hmm. I experienced some form of magic. Listen, it was amazing. And I can't take it all in by myself. I've got to share. So this is my experience from yesterday, sharing it with all of you. It's a bit of magic here on the AM Show.